The 913 News Now is getting a better idea of where Headwaters Resort and Casino developers stand with their proposal. So yesterday they presented in front of a Norfolk board, which put an approval process in the motion. So let's talk to Angelique Aaron and talk now. She is over at Harbor Park where they plan to build that new casino. So Angelique, let's break down what we're talking about tonight in this multi-million dollar project. What can we learn? Those next steps include more meetings with Norfolk City leaders. For the first time yesterday, architects presented designs for the first phase of Headwaters Resort and Casino. The initial build or phase one proposal includes a 90,000 square foot facility with approximately 45,000 square feet for gaming, a sports bar and restaurant, a grand lobby and a multi-level parking garage. All of that would take over roughly five acres of property between Harbor Park and the Norfolk Amtrak station. To be clear, we're still building the $500 million resort casino that was promised. But what we're planning on doing this is in two phases. Jay Smith, a spokesperson for Headwaters Resort and Casino, says the plan is to break ground on phase one by the end of this year. It would act as their temporary facility, yet stay permanently. It will be um, first class from the from the beginning. Phase two would build around it with more space for gaming, the hotel, resort amenities and more. Some people can't wait for a new casino's arrival in the 757. Hopefully it'll be here soon so we can go ahead and spend some money. And it's a good area also where they're going to do it. So yes, I like that. Others aren't really interested. I think that uh, a casino is really not a good idea. We need something that's going to be able to support housing. Like, how about building affordable housing? Casino architects plan to present in front of Norfolk's Architectural Review Board again on July 24th. That's when they'll seek a recommendation on whether to move forward. After that, city planning commissioners and council members would have to vote. Again, developers have their sights set on breaking ground here at, by the end of this year. Live in Norfolk, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. Angelique, thanks. And a casino representative also tells us they are continuing to meet with Virginia Lottery Board. Headwaters is still in the middle of the licensing process to get approval.